page, okay? But when I entered into divine will, God stopped me doing that work, and the other people all started doing what they were meant to do. So there was much more balance in my family life, which is what I always wanted, but I didn't know how to make that happen. But I'm just saying that when I started living in divine will, God made it happen. He created an event to stop me doing, you know what I mean? So I'm saying it's about balance. And it's about balance in the whole world that some people are good and some people are not good. We all have missions and we all have to do our mission. And sometimes some good people stop other people doing their mission. And God wants everybody to be balanced, to carry their own cross, to do their own mission. So he wants to lift up the people who are not capable of, of working at the moment. But then we have a lot of enablers who are doing their work, who's actually getting in God's way. So it's... I, this is a, I see it in my own family, right? That the balance has come back better into my own family. And in the same way, this is what God wants in the world. So at all at the one time, us doing this consecration to the divine will means we're asking God to balance up the world again, to get everybody to do their mission. You know, we're praying for everybody that they're going to be lifted up from their sin. And they're going to, this is what happens when someone goes into the Chinacolo. They find their gifts. You know, their, their, their one or two gifts become clear to them. And it's like, do those one or two gifts. Stop doing a bit of everything. Concentrate on your gifts. That's your mission. Give God glory. You know, God is pointing at that's your one gift or that's your two gifts. Concentrate on that now because you'll feel really good. When you're using your gift, you'll feel really good. And this is what happens in the Chinacolo. That the guys go in there, they find their gift, and they're lifted up again because they feel good again. They can do something. They can make a nice stone. They can make a nice painting. They can do some job in the kitchen. You know, before that, they had no value. So that's what I'm saying, in a, in a universal way in the whole world, this is what God is trying to do for everybody, convert everybody, that they know their mission, that they know their gifts, and that they use that gift for the good of the community, you know, for the good of God, basically. So in, in, a, in a wide scale event, when we're doing our consecration to the divine will, this is what God is trying to do in everybody's life, in every family, you know, and not just in one person. This is a universal thing that we're praying for for God's will to come in everybody's life, for there to be balance in everybody's life, for there to be holiness in everybody's life. And we're praying for everybody at the one time. We're not just praying for ourselves anymore. So we're praying, like Mariana says, we're praying that God is putting his hands back in order, everybody's hands back in order, that we're all gonna find our mission, that we're all going to want peace. And that's what I'm saying, that we're gonna be a community again, a real community of peace, you know, in God, in Jesus. So this is this is what divine will is, is about on a universal scale as we're praying <coughs> every day and doing our rosaries.